So the way the Rangataki floodway works is there's a section of stock bank along Hydro Road which is lower and it allows for the Rangataki River water to be diverted across Hydro Road and then into the floodway where there are two stop banks, a left and a right stop bank which conveys that water through to the coast and out to sea at Thornton. So over the years we have been upgrading various stages of the floodway um, and that's included widening the floodway to allow for the design capacity, um, upgrading stop bank heights uh, to, to again allow for that capacity. We under also undertook culvert upgrade to replace failed culverts or we extended culverts to accommodate the new stop bank. The way that the stop banks have been upgraded was by us carting in material from locally sourced quarries to site and then transferring that material to where it needed to go and then the material is then run in by bulldozer or roller um, in order to build a stop bank up to its final design height. From there then we top it back up with our topsoil that was stripped off at the start and then regrassing it, converting it back to pastoral land. So along with the Rangataki floodway upgrades, we're also undertaking upgrades to other areas of the Rangataki River Scheme, which includes the Lower Rangataki near Thornton, College Road, and other improvements to drainage in order to allow for protection or increase protection uh, to the community of Edgecombe.